The time has come to create our first node using only Python. Do you remember what a class is? A class is a model or a template that was used to create objects with certain properties. In the Python shell, by typing who and dot, I get to see this window with all the content of that module. Let's go down to the letter N and here is a class called node. If I take a look at the module in a text editor and search for class node, here it is. It says that it's the base class for all nodes in Houdini. This node class serves as a template for creating nodes. Every time I create a node in Houdini, I'll be creating an instance of this node class. Say I want to create a geometry node here in the OBJ context. To create nodes with Python, the first thing we need is to identify the parent node. Since I want to create a geometry node within OBJ, the parent will be OBJ. To identify a node, we will use the who module and the node function. Be careful, not the node class we mentioned before. The class starts with uppercase and the function with lowercase. We want to use the who.node function. As soon as I open the parentheses, I'll get a box with more information about this function. I see that the function needs a parameter called path and that path is the path of the node I want to identify. Now I want to identify the obj, so since the path is a string, I'll type the path of that node within quotes. And to be able to use it later, I'm going to store it in a variable called obj. Hit enter and the obj context is now stored in this obj variable. If I put now obj in the terminal and hit enter, I'll see what exactly this is. It turns out it's an instance of the node class. So, this obj is an instance of the node class, and that means that I'll now be able to access the methods of that node class. We do that by putting the name of the instance, obj, dot, and then the name of the method I want to use. In this case, just by typing the dot, I see a list with all the methods available in that class. This purple M stands for method. Let me open the side effects documentation and I'm going to look for the who.node class. This one here. Here I have all the methods included in that class. In the adding and removing section, there is this create node, which it says creates a new node. We said at the beginning of this video that our goal is to create a geometry node. So let's go back to Houdini and type obj dot create node. With this method, I can create a new node, which will be the child of the first. In this case, the node I create will be a child of obj. In other words, it will be inside the obj context. Open parentheses and help will appear. What parameters does this method need? First, we have the self that we can just ignore for now. And then we have node type name and a few more that have already an assigned value. This means that these parameters are optional and we don't have to use them unless we want to change their default value. But the first one, node type name, is required to run the function. And what is the node type name? We could say that it's the official name that Houdini gives to a node. I'm going to create a geometry node manually and then click on the node information. At the top, you see it says geometry object. That's the description of the node. And in parentheses, it says geo. That name in parentheses is the official name of this node the node type name we need. Delete this geometry node and now in this parenthesis I'll put geo. And since I'll probably need to use it later, I'm going to store it in a variable. geo equals to obj.createNode 
and in parentheses the official name of the node I want to create, which was Geo. Hit enter and voila I have a geometry node in the OBJ context. The next step is to create a sphere, a sphere node inside this geometry. In other words, now the parent node will be the geometry node I just created, which I have conveniently stored in the geo variable. So I'm going to put the name of the parent, geo, again the create node method and the name of the sphere node. So you can imagine it's sphere. I'm also going to store it in a variable and press enter. Here is my sphere, as expected, inside the geometry node. 